Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary of biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. UNCR, Universal Center for Renovation. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. John 8 and 32. Seventeen eighty nine, France. One of the major factors leading up to the revolution and uprising of the French people was that the vast majority of them lived in a state of slavery or serfdom since the time of Emperor Diocletian. Most of the events we read about in history, such as Columbus' discovery of the Americas or the Seven Year War and the Christianization of Europe was events involving a minority of players, namely the nobility and middle class. The vast majority, or 85%, was not involved in these events. They worked the land and was not mobile. Seventeen seventy six, the United States. The Revolutionary War, also known as the American War of Independence, was part of the movement of subject peoples breaking away from the authority of European monarchs. King George the Third, George Washington, or King George the Third versus George Washington. King George the Third and his wife, Queen. Charlotte. King and Queen of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland and the American Thirteen Colonies. The Royal Coats of arms. United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Royal coats of arms. Common version on the left. Scottish version on the right. Queen Charlotte of Mecklenburg Stralitz, the wife of King George the Third. 
Charlotte was born into the royal family of Mecklenburg Strales, a duchy in northern Germany. The duchy of Mecklenburg Strales, northern Germany, and its coat of arms. The royal physician, Baron Stokar, describes her as having a true mulatto face. King George III has the mulatto phenotype also. And that's because they were both descendants of Judeo-Syrians. Along with tracing Queen Charlotte's DNA to the Black Portuguese royal line, there are other examples that help support the Queen's mixed race. During the War of 1812, while the Queen was still on the throne, Sir Alexander Cochrane, a vice admiral, of the British Navy campaigned to enlist enslaved American blacks to join the British side of the war by stating the Queen of England is a Negro woman causing the largest emancipation before the end of the Civil War more than 4,000 enslaved blacks joined the British side of the war, leaving behind their American masters. Queen Charlotte is portrayed on screen by the Guyanese actress Golda Rochevaux. Undoubtedly, the casting was on point so that the viewing audience could receive some unbiased historicity concerning the era of the revolutionary period. When historians or Hollywood leave out certain details, it's almost impossible to understand the nature of the history we are viewing, reading, or studying. Here is one example of two famous people who could easily become misclassified in the public perception concerning their ethnic origins. Alexander Dumas and Ada Isaac Menken. Alexander Dumas was a French writer. One of his most well-known work of literature was the French historical adventure novel written in 1844, The Three Musketeers, 
the main characters of the novel, The Musketeers of the Guard, or King's Musketeers, were people of color, just like the author. Physical description of D'Artagnan, face long and brown, high cheekbones, a sign of sagacity, the maxillary muscles enormously developed, an infallible sign by which a Gascon may always be detected, the Three Musketeers, Chapter 1. D'Artagnan was part of the 2% ruling class of France. In his adventures, the other classes of people are easily distinguishable, such as Planchet, D'Artagnan, personal servant. Edda, Isaac, Mencken, Wikipedia, Edda Isaacs Mencken, was an American actress, painter, and poet, and was the highest earning actress of her time. Mencken told many versions of her origins including her name, place of birth, ancestry, and religion, and historians have differed in their accounts. Most have said she was born a Louisiana Creole Catholic with European and African ancestry. Ada kept her ethnic identity a mystery. Early life and education. About 1940, the consensus of scholars was that her parents was Auguste Theodore, a free black man, and Marie, a mixed race Creole, and Ada was raised as a Catholic. There's only one reason for this, to hide your identity. When it can be disadvantageous. Blending in or assimilating was something that was commonly practiced with the Israelites. Ida hid her identity as her forefathers had done thousands of years before her time when they were in a difficult situation. 